Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to take a look at what you get when you buy a premium sketch UI kit. Now, we've looked at a bunch of free resources to see all the great stuff you can get for free for Sketch. Now, some of the online marketplaces are starting to really fill out with a lot of great sketch resources as well. So let's dive into a few of these UI kits from Creative Market. So in the past, we focused a lot on free resources, but I wanted to point out uh, that you can actually buy a lot of really high quality resources for pretty cheap. And I wanna thank Creative Market for sponsoring this video. I think there's a lot of great things on something like Creative Market where you can actually type in like sketch, UI, and you'll find a whole bunch of paid sketch resources. The ones that get up there above the $50, $40 range, they include a lot of stuff. But even these more cheap ones, like this $8 one, they include quite a bit of stuff. I was actually really impressed when I came here. So Creative Market allowed me to check out a few of these and I wanted to paw through them so you can see what sort of comes in the different price points. For instance, I have this $15 one downloaded. This is the Finance App UI. So I have this downloaded up here. I'm gonna pull it up in Sketch and you can see what sort of comes in a paid UI kit versus a, a free UI kit. Now, not saying anything negative about the free resources because the free resources are seriously incredible. Getting something like this, I mean, is seriously awesome. I'm, I'm sure you may be able to find something like this at some point for free, but this kit has a lot of great little design interface elements. I mean, sure, there's one page in this particular one. After all, it is only $15. And there's what looks like eight artboards. But these artboards are all very different. You're not getting sort of like the same thing over and over again. I mean, you do get a sort of unified design here with these like list item styles, but you get a graph, you get a credit card, you get a card, you get sort of a timeline view, you get a navigation, you get a larger navigation, and like maybe a user page. So while this is a resource that you have to pay for, for $15, you're getting a whole lot. And in addition, you can feel good about supporting these designers because these are all independent designers who are uploading their designs onto this marketplace so you can find a lot of really great stuff in here and you can support some talented designers while you're at it now what's cool about some of these is this one was a little bit more expensive and it actually came with the fonts to download which is something i really like and these fonts are available on the internet you can go get them but it just saves me a step here i don't have to go try to find these fonts somewhere so I can just simply install them. I'm gonna open this one up because this one is nice and big. Oh, it turns out I already had uh, just Finn Sands. Okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and open this blueprint one up. And maybe they couldn't get the permissions for Lato or something to distribute that. But let's open this anyways without Lato. Lato's a pretty middle of the road font. That's a really nice looking font, but it's not going to sort of make or break this design here. And as you can see, this one is awesome. So on this page alone, we have nine different full page artboards. And these aren't mobile, these are our full pages here uh, with all sorts of different things, right? So we have, yeah, we have some repeated elements. We have some repeated sort of imagery, but there's a lot of different components. I mean, this page itself, this is a full website right here. And this is a full website that you can change and attribute and design your site around. You could use this as like a starter kit for yours, or you can simply just use these UI elements in your projects. But this is like a real deal full website here. Now, if we come here, you're gonna see in addition to nine artboards, there are several pages. Uh, there's a lot of pages. So if we click on the about page, you'll see we only get one artboard for this about page, but it's a good looking page. I mean, these things are very well designed. This is some very professional stuff. <laughs> Portfolio page, we have a blog page. With the blog page has like more than several different variants. So you can have a right column, two column, left column, no column. I mean, they have all that stuff included. I mean, this is just really great. Blog, single post, and it's all very well designed. Good, good stuff here. And as you can see, all this stuff is very well labeled. We have sidebar, we have the header, and we have things that are even like broken up into symbols here. So let's zoom in on this element here. And you'll see this is 
quite a bit larger of a sketch file. And sometimes that happens with sketch when you get into larger files. Uh, but we have things like this featured article. This is a, a symbol, right? So if we wanted to just throw this around, we wanted to make our own, we could simply even just insert a symbol and here's a whole ton of symbols, right? So this one really went above and beyond. I mean, you won't necessarily find stuff this good in a free resource. We could simply come in here and throw in some social icons and there's our, our symbol right there. So I'm gonna check out one last one. It's this 404 page, awesome. I mean, this is just read stuff because I mean, in addition to this, you get these nice sort of font treatments out of, out of this this UI kit, you could pull font sizes, font spacing, you could pull the font combinations and stuff like that. You don't have to use uh, all these elements of the page, but simply using something like this font and this font together with this underline and all this spacing is a nice little design tweak that you can add to something you're working on. So something like this, let me check out how much this one costs. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so this one is a $48. This is probably the, the most costly one I've checked out. So as you can see, for $48, you're getting a whole ton of stuff. And that's not me trying to sell you on this particular one. I don't know who this user is. I don't know anything about them. But this, this is a really nice little package here. Uh, I simply came in here and did sketch UI like we did at the very beginning. And you can see, I mean, there's a ton, a ton of stuff. So for a long time, a lot of these stores have really just been Photoshop and Illustrator. So it's actually really nice to see something like this where there is, what, how many pages of sketch resources? I mean, there's just an unbelievable amount. So there is a ton of stuff. And if you're a designer selling your stuff on, on uh, some place like this and having your work go up on here could be a really nice way to bring in some extra cash and practice your design abilities, right? I mean, look at this, some of this stuff. This one includes all of these inputs. And yeah, this is just really great stuff. I actually wish I had this one downloaded now so I could paw through it, but it looks really, really good. So like I said, this video was sponsored by Creative Market, but I'm really glad that they were able to let me go through some of these sketch UI kits just so I could see what a paid UI kit looks like versus something that's like a free resource. So if you're looking for some higher quality UI kits, just maybe to kick off a design or find a design element, check out Creative Market. There's a ton of sketch resources on here. And this one even comes with Sketch and Photoshop, which I actually found to be true for a couple of ones I downloaded. The Sketch and Photoshop thing was nice because if you're not totally committed to Sketch or maybe you want to see how something is done in Sketch verse Photoshop, you can download the Sketch and Photoshop files here and then maybe compare techniques and get better at either app. Cool, so if you are looking for some resources, hit up Creative Market, uh, search for Sketch UI kits or just really anything Sketch and let me know if you find any cool ones. I've been pawing through this set a lot and like I said, I, I keep finding ones I really like, including the ones I've been showing off here. There's some really high quality stuff on here. So if you wanna try out some of these resources and you wanna save some money, there's actually a coupon code for 10% off any of your purchases here at Creative Market. You can use that coupon code. I'll have it in the description of the video. It is level up tuts 10 or you can click on a link in the description. I'll have all that in there so you can either click on the link or copy the promo code itself, but that'll give you 10% off anything in Creative Market. So take advantage of that and check out some of these sketch resources. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. There's going to be a lot more sketch videos coming soon. I have a lot planned for sketch right now. I'm working on some pretty cool stuff that I'm going to be revealing very soon. So a lot of great tutorials in the pipeline. So keep your eyes open for anything new sketch showing up on the channel. There's going to be a lot very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.